experience was great, uh, loved it, yeah, liked it a lot. Um, we uh, tried to get the app in time, but we ran out of time. I think uh, it ties in extremely well with what all teenagers or high school students do nowadays, and that's using their cell phone. So I had absolutely no problem getting students or girls involved uh, to participate in this. I even had a, a whole bunch of boys who wanted to do it as well, and two of them were willing to get a sex change and one of them said he was a female trapped in a male body uh, in order to get into the program. So the popularity of it is very well shown, at least in my classes that I went to. Uh, no problems at all getting girls involved in it. I think the girls are, they love it, they were being here. They were very shy, they didn't want to stand up, but I think the experience uh, that they actually wrote an app, especially since it's a completely new field for most of us, they actually finished and wrote an app and got recognition a bit tonight with the t-shirt and the principal in this case was here. That's always rewarding, that you get the warmth of other people recognizing what you did. Uh, so again, I think the girls, when we go home, I'll probably hear from them in the car and that's the most rewarding aspect in this case. The challenging was the time constraints. Um, initially when I got the materials it came about a week before I started teaching it and I didn't even know myself how to write an app because I'd never done it. I didn't have the book, I didn't have the equipment to do it and I didn't have an account so I would have loved to have that, have that let's say three or four months ahead so I could have conquered the material and know it by the time we would have taught it. That was my personal problem. I was about half a week ahead of the girls. Uh, the other problem time constraint was that um, Technovation had set it up on a weekly basis what to accomplish and that didn't work in reality because we had Easter break was incorporated in it but we had other issues with CST testing, uh, with uh, senior ditching days, uh, with other events. I was in Puerto Rico doing an in-service there for a couple of days. So there were a couple of problems where we didn't meet and we ran out of time. We could not finish the app within the time constraints that were given to us. Uh, also based on a couple of items that there were no late buses after school because we had a short day. So the, to summarize it, the time constraints were, in my case, uh, uh, too killing, uh, that's not a good word, sounds too negative. Uh, the time constraints were too strict in order to finish the app in time and we submitted it about three or four weeks late as well, I think, at this moment. So that's the only other thing, uh, we need a bit more leeway to, for unanticipated events that may take place at a high school level. In my case that was easy because all the girls that took, uh, participated in it was from, were from my parent primary classes and uh, they were all already in an AP computer science class. So initially I asked my own students first to participate and they were all willing to and I thought if I don't get enough I'll go to other classes and advertise it at the scholastic or at the school level. But there was no need for that because initially I got 10 girls out of my own classes already that wanted to participate. So that made it a bit easier because I already knew them. It's during a regular class, it's slightly different. Now they are a lot looser. After school activities when you have a girls club, they come out more in their own atmosphere. They are not as timid or shy and taken back as in a regular class atmosphere. But that's probably with everybody. Um, they loosen up, like right now they're joking and they would not do that in a regular class atmosphere. So they came, they didn't feel, and you should ask them perhaps, but I think they didn't feel like they were inhibited by fellow students who could be overpowering them intellectually. Here they were free to be themselves. Uh, especially because we worked in small groups of 10 girls in this case, twice five. Uh, so they could do and say whatever they wanted without having to worry about other students potentially making jokes about them or whatever the case could be. But that's my interpretation. I'm not 100% sure if that's correct. You would have to ask them. The software is a bit tricky in order to learn that. That's the only thing. Uh, it is tricky for me, let's put it that way. I still haven't mastered it. Um, the App Inventor software in this case, but I think it's very popular and it comes in easily. It's a wonderful way of teaching and it, it appeals to the interest of most teenagers again because uh, all they do is sit on the cell phone. I got to tell them every small, not every 10 minutes, but every half an hour there's one student who has a cell phone or her cell phone sort of half hidden underneath a bench trying to make contact, although it's prohibited to use cell phones in the class environment. 
pending emergencies. So they use our cell phones all the time. So it's a perfect way to blend in and say, okay, you want to use your cell phone, write your own app, and then you can use that one. And in order to do that, it hopefully takes three or four months anyway before they write their own app, because if they make a lot of apps, then I would have to eat my words. But uh, that's what I told them initially. You want to write your own app, join the club.